Hey guys, as I've been reading your messages the last few days, I've been just really taking my time and going over every single one that you guys have sent me. And uh, I'm seeing kind of a common theme. And, and when you get the types of messages I do, you find yourself at the, the feet of God a lot. You find yourself on your knees a lot. And uh, a lot of you have come to me with uh, hopelessness. And you just say, Alia, I don't know the point of living anymore. I don't understand why these things have happened to me. Some of you are battling addictions. Some of you have lost loved ones. Some of you have been abandoned by family, by friends, by boyfriends, girlfriends, husbands, wives. A lot of you have just felt like you have no more value, you have no more purpose, you have no more worth in your life. You just feel hopeless. And I can't tell you how much that saddens me. I can't tell you how much that breaks my heart and I can't tell you at the same time how much it angers me because I also understand that there's there's a devil working behind the scenes and so here's what I want to tell you is that every single time I read one of your messages even if I don't respond to you right away but every time I pray for you in that exact moment by name every single time and as I've been reading these messages and I, I I've been feeling this this kind of common theme of, of hopelessness. What God wants you to know is that your current position is not your final destination. See, what the enemy meant for harm in 2014, God wants to turn and use for your good in 2015. Jeremiah 29, 11, it says that God has declared for the plans I have for you are to prosper you, to grow you, not to harm you, to give you a hope and a future. See, that was a declaration over all people, not specific people that fit a specific criteria. No, every single one of us, every single person, God said, I have a plan, I have a hope, I have a future for you. But see, I have to be honest with you and I have to give you the whole story because I wouldn't be doing you a favor if I didn't tell you the truth. And the truth is, is that God has a plan for your life and the devil has a plan for your life too. See, God came to love you, to save you, to give you a hope, to give you a future. The devil came to kill, steal, and destroy God's plan, your hope, and your future. Every time that you feel hopeless, that's the devil coming at you and feeding you lies and deception. And every time you speak that over yourself, you're literally coming into agreement with the devil's death sentence over your life. But God... But God said, no, I have a plan, I have a hope, I have a future for you. Will you just let me? Will you just agree with me? See, he's there waiting. He hears your prayers. And so does the devil, and he will attack that. And I want you guys to go into 2015, leaving the baggage, leaving the hurt, leaving the pain, leaving the hopelessness here. And I want you to walk into this year Walk into your hope, walk into your future with confidence and courage, knowing who you are, knowing that you serve a God that's bigger than anything else you've ever faced in your life. He's bigger than the addiction. He's bigger than the abandonment. He's bigger than the pain. He's bigger than the hopelessness. And he has a plan for your life and he loves you. And man, I want you guys to know that I'm always praying for you. And I went through a season of my life where I also felt hopeless. And God changed that in me. And he has a plan for your life just like he has a plan for mine. I love you guys. I'm always praying for you. And I will talk to you soon.